Hey Romance Readers, welcome back to Adore R. I'm back again with another video. Uh, today I have uh, four books here. I'm, I do have some recommendations there. I got four books I want to recommend. And well, three of them is from a series um, that I've read um, last year. Uh, and I found out like, oh, I can go ahead and recommend these books right here. And they're all by the same author. Her name is Deborah Camp. I don't know if any of you heard of her, um, but I've never read her before. And I found it on, um, my sister recommended um, Kindle Unlimited. Do any of you out there have a uh, Kindle Unlimited, Unlimited on uh, Amazon? Uh, it's like a subscription. You pay $9.99 and you get to read um, the books that they have on there, they, on there for free. Some of the books they uh, have on their site, you can read them for free. Uh, how it works is, uh, like I said, you pay $9.99 a month and you can download uh, 10 free books. Uh, but after that, you have to return. You can't keep the books, though. You have to return them and then you can um, download some more books. Um, like you get a book, return it, get a book, return it. That's how it works. But it's worth it though because um, I found this how I found out about Deborah Kemp on there. Um, I read uh, her series. It's called Mind's Eyes. Um, uh, that's the whole series, Mind Eyes. And the first book is called uh, Through His Eyes. And it's about, I guess it's called Mind Eyes because it's about two psychics. Uh, the uh, guy is a psychic and the female in here is a psychic. And the second book in the series is um, Through His Touch. And the third book is Through His Heart. And I'll read you a little synopsis of the first book. I'm not going to read all of them. I just go through the first one here. Um, let me see, can I bring it up? Uh, sometimes this Kindle want to work and sometimes it don't. And I forgot to ask, how's everyone doing today? I hope everyone's had a great day today. Um, it's Thursday, one more day before Friday. So I'm going to say happy Thursday. <laughs> uh, let me see, can I find a synopsis on here? Okay, here it is. Someone is stalking women and murdering them in Key West. I always wanted to go to Key West. Maybe one day I put it on my bucket list to uh, go to Key West, Florida one day. Psychic Levi Wolf and Trudy Tucker join forces to help identify the murderer and stop him. Levi can channel the deceased victim and Trudy can tap into the mind of the killer. As a psychic detective team, they are formidable. As lovers, they discover that they are insatiable. As they grow closer, Trudy wonders if Levi will ever completely trust her and let her know his heart. Levi struggled with his new tender feelings toward Trudy and worries that she might be in over her head with him and with the case they're working on. Because if Trudy can see through the killer's eyes, can the killer see her? I really enjoyed the series. It's a three book series on that same couple. So it's the same couple all the way through. Uh, and try, uh, if uh, any of you are on uh, Kindle Unlimited, try it out because it's free. And let me know what you thought about the series. So if you like me, once you discover an author that you like and enjoy their writing, I went on here and started searching for some other books of hers. and. Lo and behold, she writes historicals. So I also got I downloaded a, um, one of her historicals for free also. And I really enjoyed it. So I went and purchased it in the book form. And it's Cheyenne Shadow. And I'll read you a little bit of this. Um, so if you go in there and you want to read some of her historicals, those covers that she got on those ebooks. I don't know if she just took some of her book because she wrote this book in 1994. So I guess she took some of her books that she wrote before and just uh, had them uploaded as ebooks and just chose some covers to put on there because those covers are so dry. I was like, why? At least get some nice covers to put on there. Don't you know that covers sometimes sell your book? If you got a beautiful cover, it'll draw the person in and make them want to read read the synopsis. Come on now, people, we can do better. <laughs> Come on, I was like, really? So I and um on the um oh the three books that I showed before they're contemporary. You probably already know that, but um I also want to buy those three books too, but. I hope she I didn't like the covers on those either so I hope she can um, and I tried to find them in uh, book form on, on uh, Amazon but I, I didn't see any on there so I, I'm still going to search because uh, the 
first two books came out in 2004 and I think the last book came out in two was it 2004 let me let me go on here and check and see to make sure before I tell you something wrong no the first two books came out in 2014 and the last book came out in 2015 so I'm sure she might have uh, had them in the book form I don't know but I'm gonna keep searching and see can I find hopefully she got a better cover on her books than she do on on the uh, ebooks because the cover that she had for this in on the um, Kindle I mean on the ebook mm -mm. <laughs> but I'm glad I did I really enjoyed this so I went and found it and I was so so happy and I'll read you a little bit of this with little assistance and lots of determination feisty independent Etta Hollister has been running the flying H ever since her father's death a year earlier but now she must seek a wounded gunslinger's aid they call him Johnny Cheyenne, a dark, handsome, and dangerous half-breed with mysterious fire raging behind his dusky bedroom eyes. His is the hand Etta needs to help her keep the struggling spread going and the protection she requires against a powerful enemy who wants to break and to own her. So I really enjoyed the story. When I was reading this, I was like, look, I've I I read this before, uh, but I, like, I don't remember it, but... It was some scenes in here it looked like I had I was like I know I done either read this somewhere before or uh, maybe a movie and I realized that it was a movie that I had seen with Jane Fonda I wrote this down so I could remember it was Jane Fonda James Caan and Jason Robards and the movie was called Comes a Horseman have any of you seen it it's a western and it had some, um, a little bit of romance in it I really enjoyed it and when I was reading this I was like it's some similarities similarity between these two the, the movie and this book and I was like when did this movie come out so the movie came out in 1978 and this book came out in because I was let me go back in here because I can't remember nothing people don't get old have you ever been somewhere and somebody asks you a question or asks you about a mover or actor or something and you, you have it in your head and you know who it is but you can't give them the answer? I do that all the time with my sister and she'd be like, use your words, Lynn. I'd be like, I, I would use my word if I could remember. <laughs> like, I can't remember. So I said, let me write this stuff down so um, I won't be stumbling over my words. I, I still stumble on my words, but maybe a little bit. I can be a little bit better. <laughs> Yeah, the book was uh, published in 1994, and they did this movie in 1978. So it has some similarities in there. So if you read, if you seen uh, "Comes Comes a Horseman" with Jane Fonda and Jane Jane Fonda and James Caan, and if you read this book, did you see any similarities? Let me know, cause I did. So let me know if you did. But and, but I want to recommend the movie too, "Comes a Horseman." I really enjoyed it, and I would recommend this too. Cheyenne Shadow, Deborah Camp. And I have some more books here, but uh, I haven't read those. It's from my To Be Read pile. Yes, people, I have another pile. I got a hope. I tried to make this video yesterday. I tried this about three or four times. My camera kept going out on me. So I'm just going to. I might read some of the synopsis on some of them, and some of them I won't because I want to get through this before my camera go out. I need a better camera. So I'm working on getting me another camera. So the first book I have is by Karen Rainey, The Scottish Duke. I read a little bit of this. The raise of the gentleman's daughter, Laura Gordon, is obliged to take a position as an upstairs maid at Black Hall Castle when her father dies. Alec Russell, the Duke of Kenrose, is the most tempting man she's ever seen and completely unattainable until at a fancy dress ball, Laura disguises herself as Marie Antoinette and pursues an illicit twist. They always got the old illicit twist going on with scandalous consequences. I'm going to let y'all figure out what do you, what y'all think the scandalous consequence is going to be. I bet we all know. <laughs> and again, that's uh, Karen Rainey, the Scottish Duke. Have any of y'all read this yet? If you have, give me a rating below and let me uh, know what you thought about it. Uh, next one is Karen, Rob Karen Robards. Uh, Hush. I think this also is a romantic. I like romantic suspense, so I think this is a romantic suspense. It just said a thriller. So I'll read a little bit of this. Riley Carwin, former father-in-law, is in jail, accused of financial fraud. The once powerful family ruined, hundreds of millions in investors' money unaccounted for. Her ex-husband, gone, won a many mysterious death at the firm since the scandal broke. Is someone trying to send a message? After Riley is brutally attacked, she's sure of it. 
So yeah, this is a, a romantic uh, suspense because sexy FBI agent Finn Bradley wants to figure out what Riley knows. At first she won't talk, but she has just one week to find the money and only Flynn can help her make sense of the clues. So um, she's all, she, um, I used to, when I first read her, she was uh, writing historical. So I went ahead and picked this up because I, I like her writing also. So I hope this is good. If any of you read this, Karen Robards, hush. Uh, next I have uh, Eloise James. I wasn't going to buy this right here, but I was look. I uh, follow her on uh, Instagram. And she had uh, put on her uh, Instagram, uh, one of her pages that she, um, they were doing a, I guess something on romance. I wrote it down here. Uh, romance novel, one of publishing hottest trends. They were doing it on CBS uh, Sunday morning. Do any of you watch that? I record that. I like CBS Sunday morning. So I was like, what? So I uh, watched it and... Um, I saw this book on there. At first, I wouldn't go back, but I go. I was. I like Eloise Jane, so I, I go ahead and try it out. And um, they did a little uh, thing on CBS Sunday morning. I'm gonna. Uh, it's also on YouTube, so I'll put the link below. And if you want to go see it, if you like, like I said, if you like romance, like I do, I would like anything dealing with romance. I try to watch it, so I'm gonna put it in the link below, and you all can watch it if you want to. Um, so I went ahead and I uh, purchased this book. If I was like, I'm not buying any more books, but that fell through the cracks and I went ahead and bought it. And like I said, Eloise James, uh, Seven Minutes in Heaven. I'll read a little of this. Witty and elusive Eugenia Snow has all society begging for one of her premier governesses, except the powerful Edward Reed, who burst into her office with his arrogant demands. No question that Eugenia enjoys crossing with with the brilliant inventor, but Ward wants far more than a governess. He wants Eugenia and he'll stop at nothing to have her including kidnapping i'm not too much up on these kidnapping uh books when they romance books but it was eloise jane so i'll go ahead and try it out have any of you bought this yet have you read it did you finish it yet because i'm in a reading slump right now so <laughs> let me know what you thought about it and next um like i have this book right here i just went on another bond spree people i, I said i wasn't gonna do it but like i said when i watched that um romance novel uh, thing on CBS Monday morning and they 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 interviewed Eloise James, Eloise James on there and they also had another lady on there she got some kind of website dealing with romance I don't I forgot what the name of that was I didn't write that down and while the film the uh, camera was scanning up it was a I don't know if she had all the books or it was just a bunch of books and they were scanning over all these books and I saw this and it was by Courtney Malone I fell in love with the cover. I was like, oh, that cover is beautiful. I was like, oh, I'm going to check this book out. I didn't even read it or anything. I was like, I'm just going to go buy this. So I went on um, Amazon and uh, read the synopsis. I'll read a little bit of this. Uh, Tina Chen just wants a degree and a job, so her parents never have to worry about making rent again. She has no time for Blake Reynolds, the sexy billionaire who stands to inherit Cyclone System. Have you noticed that a lot of books got a, a lot of sexy billionaires or billionaires in there? I was like, uh, ever since, um, what is the book is? Uh, Fifty Shades of Grey with Christian Grey. You know, he's a billionaire. So it looked like all of a sudden I've been noticing a lot of books that got billionaires in them. I was like, really? Everybody's not a billionaire. And if they were, where, where my billionaire at? That's what I'm trying to find out. Where he at? Where do I need to go to find one? <laughs> if you can find them that easily. Anyway, <laughs> let me finish it. Where was I at? She has no time for Blake Reynolds, the sexy billionaire who stands to inherit Cyclone System. But when he makes an offhand comment about what it means to be poor, she loses a cool and tell him he couldn't last two weeks living her life. So I, I, after I read that, I was so I was like, yes, I'm getting it. But I was just gonna buy it for this the cover here. I really I like that cover. And the next two, I'm not going to read the synopsis on these two. I'm just going to show them to you. It's Seven Your Day, Seven Years to Sin. Have any of you read this? Let me know what you thought about it. I think this is going to be set on a ship or something. And I, I'm not too much into romances on ships. Because I was like, is this whole book going to be set on this ship? I was like, oh my goodness, I can't. But Seven Your Day wrote it, so I like her writing. So I said I'll give it a try. If you've read it, let me know. 
And the last one is uh, Lisa Clapas, Smooth Talking Stranger. And this is a contemporary and this is a historical. And let me go back and this is a contemporary. And you know uh, Eloise Jane, she do mostly um, historical and contemporary and historical. So if, you're, if you've read any of these, let me know. Leave me some comments below on um, if you read any of these. Did you give them a thumbs up, thumbs down? Let me know. All right, that's all I have for today. Um, maybe I'll do another bit because I got some more to be read. Um, T TBR piles over here. So I might go through those uh, or I might go back and do my old throwback uh, Friday or something like that. Um, I'm going to try to keep making these videos. I hope so. So I don't know. <laughs> it's hard trying to make these videos, but I'm trying. I'm trying. So I hope everyone have a good evening and I'll try to see you tomorrow. Have a good evening and keep reading those romances. Bye.